All right, so I'm going to show you how the transcription works in PowerPoint. There's actually a few really interesting things about this. Uh, you know, right now you're watching my PowerPoint screen, and let's say I'm doing a presentation. Uh, you have to look at the screen, you have to listen to me, but you may not uh, be able to understand what's going on. So if I use the transcript, that can change. So when you're in the presenter view here, you're going to click on the transcript button. And now you see this transcription area. So you can see that PowerPoint is listening to me and it's doing a transcription in real time. And of course, it's not perfect, uh, but for the most part, it works really well. And even when I'm talking really fast, you can see that it does a pretty decent job doing the transcription. Even if I talked really, really, really fast, I think it's doing a really good job doing the transcription because I probably wouldn't talk this fast in a real presentation. Now, this is great if you're working, uh, doing a live presentation and you're working with this PowerPoint slide deck. It's probably a little bit more problematic if you're trying to show steps for something. I was trying to do software demos and when you talk and use feature names and you're trying to show these procedural steps, sometimes it confuses the transcription and tries to figure out what you're doing. But for the most part, it works really well. So what are some of the options that you have in PowerPoint? This is the part that I think is really pretty slick. So let's come back and look at the screen here. So when you're looking at the screen, uh, this is your transcription options here. We're going to go ahead and look at some of the slideshow options. On the subtitle settings, uh, right now we have it at the bottom, but I may want to have that on the top, uh, which makes sense. Let's move this here. It makes sense to have them on the top because if somebody's in the back of the room, they're going to see the top of the screen better than if they're seeing the bottom of the screen. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, the other thing is you could have it overlaying. Right now it's on top of the screen. Uh, you could change it so it overlays the screen. Uh, so we'll do top overlaid. Uh, personally, I don't really like the top overlaid because you're then covering up part of the screen. Uh, but that is one of the options. Now this right here is probably the most amazing option to be and amazing for the way this works. I'm going to change my language settings. So we're going to go to subtitles. Go to more settings. I'm going to change my spoken language is English. I'm going to change my other language to German because I can kind of understand German a little bit. Hit OK. And now I'm going to start talking in English and it's going to do the transcription in German. Now I don't know how perfect that is. Probably not very good. But it's better than nothing. And as you can see, it does a pretty decent job and it does it quickly. So it's really just a matter of uh, what type of translations you need to do, how fast you talk. And as you can see, it can be a little bit challenging uh, because the text does change dynamically as the context changes. But if you're doing a simple presentation and you're not doing a lot of things on screen like a software demo and you're just talking, then I think this probably works uh, pretty well. But in the grand scheme of things, it is pretty amazing to have this change, uh, not only do the transcription in real time, but also be able to do the transcription and translation in real time. I think that's pretty amazing. Uh, so hopefully it's something that you can use or something you could consider if you're uh, doing live presentations.